So here we got a couple of our spiral mold parts. This is the back of them. You can see the sprue on them. And you can tell from that those edges and those sink marks that the material was too cold when it got out to the end, and that's why it stopped flowing. Um, so we're gonna go back, we're gonna increase our material um, volume. We've already done that. So now we're going back and we're going to boost up our temperatures. You, could, you can usually tell by that rippling out on the uh, outside that it's just becoming more viscous and it's harder to get through the mold and so it's rippling trying to force itself over one another to get to the outer edges of the mold. And so we're coming up with these incomplete parts with that. So that really just tells us we've got to increase our temperature. So we'll check in with you after we do that. We've run our first couple of parts and as you can see, we're not having very good uh, results here. So uh, we figured the first thing we do is just increase our temperatures a bit. And then on here, it gives you your ranges for each thing. So I'm just going to go through again and change each one of them by 10. So I'm at 40, so you go 50, and then you hit this yes, and you'll see it change on the screen there. So I'm just going to go down, go up by 10 for each one. They're all in college, I'm sure you can all do math. And then again, you also have to wait for it to increase in temp again, so there'll be a bit of waiting time there. <laughs> 